going to give you a synopsis of the key fundamentals of the address position, the grip, and the swing. One take through or the whole works, okay? So pay attention. The grip obviously is super important. It's the only thing holding on to the club. And I have a grip that I consider a neutral grip where that my hands fit sort of like that and then I just, without changing my arm positions, I go ahead and grab the club. That allows me to have my arms hanging without twisting them in position on a strong grip or putting them out here for a weak grip, just getting that neutral position. I put the left hand on right there, a lot like Ben Hogan said, right across the, the hand here and then close it in. Puts my V here about at my right ear. A thumb just a little on the right side of the club, not much. And then I take my right hand, and there's a groove right there in your right hand. It fits right on the thumb, goes right into this V that I have on my grip here. And I put my hands on right through that part of my hand there, right down there. And then I have one finger width right there. That's sort of important. This is a key, key part of your grip, I believe, for, for power. Because that finger, John Daly, by the way, puts two finger widths there, more than anybody else. But if I was going to break this club, in half the shaft and tried to do it with my finger this way, I could bend it that much right there. If I put it down as much as I do, I could bend it that much. If I put it like daily, I could snap in half if I wanted. Now, I'm not saying to put it down that much, but an impact, it's pretty important. That's like a stabilizing force, that knuckle there, and it gives you a lot of feedback. So let that knuckle give you feedback in your swing all the way. As far as the dress position, again, always put the, uh, the ball pretty much where the club wants to drop, and where it drops is usually where your brush is. Did you notice that? In other words, if I get nice and relaxed and let my arms hang, that's where the ball, it seems like that's where the club wants to go where it's supposed to. Don't go pushing it up here or out here. Let the club just drop, and that's how far you should play it away from you. You shouldn't play it out here. You shouldn't play it in here. Just extend your arms after you get in this position and drop them. That's where you should be. I said, wait, it's 50-50, knees nice and flexed, a lot like you're going to jump. It's that same position, rear end out, and just move down into it so that you can reach the ground right there in your nice position, head up, okay? As far as first takeaway, you want to obviously have the face square to the target, by the way. You don't want it open or closed. Have the face square. Shaft angle pretty much 90 degrees to the target here. And if you do those things that are dressed, you should have it in pretty good shape. You'll notice that when I let the club hang down, it's pretty straight line to my left arm. Pretty darn straight line. As far as the takeaway, there's a lot of ways to take it away, but I try to almost take away with the whole, the hip, shoulder, and the arm and the hand all in one motion, just sort of push away. I don't go hands and leave the body alone. To me, that uh, takes away from the rhythm of the action. I try to let sort of let even my knee and hip, shoulder, arm, and hand all just sort of push away and turn nice and level. So the key position here is halfway back. Check that. Make sure that that club's extended sort of nice. If you want to add a little wrist like I do early, that's fine. And then that's your one key position. Check that. You'll notice your knee now has gone from here to here because you've loaded onto the right side on the top. Your wrist is the same position as you were at a dress, except for you've added a little bit of this. So watch me at the top of the back, so I'm going to get right here, and now I've added this much wrist action to the ball. You see about a foot of wrist action right there. So you do add about a foot of wrist action here, and now coming down is pretty darn key. You notice my knee's over my right foot here. I'm coiled good. I've got my left shoulder behind the ball. And my right side is tucked that way pretty, pretty good. Got to be in, in here. I don't, you don't want to leave your right side in front of you. You're dead if you do that. You want that right side to go that way. Hip, shoulder, get deep here. Sets the club in position. And from here, it's sort of a falling position. Nicholas said from here, the next movement is a gravity move. You just gravity back to the halfway position. No power is given yet. Just very little. It's just gravity is doing a lot of work for you right here. It's picking up speed just through gravity, and now you're in the hitting position. You still have the 90 degrees here. You, you're in good position now. You haven't used a lot of body action yet, and now you're ready for that, what I call sort of a, a karate move, where in karate, it's sort of a move, boom, and that's what happens in golf. You get it up here. You sort of delay things. The arms catch up. The arms are catching up to the body, and right about right here, now you're ready to make a good penetrating whoom, and hit that wall. If you watch when you hit the wall, you have to go, you get about right here, and then it's whoom. So it's in this area that the body really comes alive. It's sort of settling in about right here into a squat position, and then about right here to penetrate into that wall, whoom. And that's where you want it. And you'll notice that the elbow's in, 
on impact, the elbow is right against that right hip. The knee is driven in. This knee is solid, and you've penetrated there. Nice straight left arm here. Face is square if you want to hit it straight. And then what you want to do here is figure out a way to penetrate through the ball. Penetrate. Watch. This is a good little drill here to just do that. Penetrate through there. And as soon as you get past your left leg, this is a key position here, square. Keep the face square a long time. Not a lot of timing involved. I don't believe in this stuff right here at impact. In other words, when it comes down, it squares up. It stays square for about that long. And then, then it releases and you cross over. And halfway through, if you want, you can see your arms are crossed over. The left wrist is still solid right there, hip high. And then from here, right to a nice high follow through with that same good follow through. Right shoulder should be now about over the left foot. If you're seeing your right shoulder here, you're going to have weight here, back here. If you want to make the weight get over to the left side, the only way you can do it is by taking this right side and putting it over by the left foot. That way you can do this all day.